Excel, Module 2, Formatting a Worksheet, Independent Challenge 1, open Excel 2-3, and then it will be saved as IL underscore EX underscore 2 underscore Riverwalk. And the first thing we're going to do is in the total column, column H, we're going to add the uh, accounting format and decimal places 2. So select H11 all the way to H39 and in the number group choose the accounting format and it should be dollar signs and two decimal places. For column eight, J, right now it's um, a decimal and we want to change it to a percent. So start in J11 and scroll all the way down to J38 and then click the percent sign in the number group and then have it to, right now it's rounding, so increase it to decimal places. The inventory date, we'll select B11 all the way through B38, and instead of having it uh, the month, the day, and the year, they just want first the day and the month so that's all so if you click the date down arrow for more options there's only two choices here the short date which is there right now and the long date so click down on more number formats and then it should be already the category date and this is the one they want 14 dash March you're not gonna get March but it'll it's just a sample so go ahead and click OK perfect on column row, which are your column titles, select A10 through J10, and we will select bold formatting, and then increase the font size to 12. The inventory items in the first column of column A, starting with A11 all the way to A38, put it italic. In K1, so if we were to, to look at the uh, font type, it's Calibri, and in K1, it's Times New Roman, so change that, that to Calibri, so it matches. In A1, we're going to I'd um, put in the cell style title and then we're going to delete column I so actually click on the I the column heading and then on the home tab you'll choose delete so I is gone and then we'll delete row 13 so I'll actually select on 13 so the whole row is selected and the same delete button in the cells group and we're going to merge and center the title from A1 all the way to I1, merge and center. So if you look at column A, you can't see all of the, the, um, the content. So you can hover between A and B and double click so it widens so that you can see everything. And if you need to do that anywhere else, you can do the same. And you can either double click or drag, whatever you're comfortable doing, double click or drag. So if we, you remember we changed the inventory date so that it's the day and then the month and they want the same thing for the inventory due, but you don't have to select everything and go back up to the date and at and do it from uh, more number formats. If you want, click one of the dates, click the format painter in the clipboard section just click it once you have a paintbrush now attached to your um, your mouse so you're going to hold and drag everything in column C and it'll paint that formatting style next select J1 and K1 and go to the tipped over paint bucket for shading and select 
light turquoise background too. And then change the font color of those two cells to dark teal text too. There we go, dark teal test two, text two. Select the column titles A10 through I10 and select bottom border and the default is bottom border or you can click the down arrow for more options and it's the first one so that's the default and you get a bottom border. Now we're going to set conditional formatting for um, column H. Now when you're selecting H11 all the way down just don't include the total. So stop at 37. And then you'll choose conditional formatting and we're going to choose data bars and they want gradient blue. For column E, select E11. Again, do not include the total. So stop on E37. Go back to conditional formatting and we're going to choose icon sets and the very first directional is three arrows colored. On the bottom of your status bar we have sheet 1 and 2 and 3. Right click on sheet 3, choose rename and it'll be called budget and then press enter and then we'll go back to sheet 1 and we'll spell check the current document so view and then spelling Then we're going to use, I'm going to do control home, that always takes you to the beginning and we're going to find and select, replace all the instances of Maxi with Ace. So out of curiosity, on the home tab, I'm just going to find, I just want to see how many Maxis there are. So about four of them. So while I'm here, I'm going to go right to replace. And I want to replace Maxi with ACE. And it's all caps. And then when I do click um, replace all, it should be the four of them. And four have been replaced. OK. And close. We are going to delete sheet two. So right click on sheet two and choose delete. And then we'll go back to sheet one and we're going to go and do the header. So you could do the header from here, insert and select um, under text, you'll find header footer. But I think it's easier to see when we go to file, print, and then choose page setup. And you do it right from here. So it's, it's outside of the actual worksheet. And then we'll choose custom header. And in the center, they want your name. And on the right side, then click OK, go to footer, and in the center of the footer, put the sheet name. Sheet name. and then OK and OK and while you're back here you can go ahead and save and submit. Thank you.